Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to another video where we're gonna be looking at the Fiesta today. Gonna to get that in <clears throat> and um, yeah, we're gonna get that in and have a look at it today. Probably give it a clean, to be honest with you, first. Just give it a, just give it a basic clean, not a serious clean, but just give it a wipe over. Let's just have a look at the, some of the damage on the outside, some of the scratches and stuff like that. Um, so that'll be first. And then we'll bring her in <clears throat> and then, yeah, we'll start having a little setup over here and start working out. I might do a little bit of painting on the floor because it's Friday morning and it is scorching already, so hot. So I thought <clears throat> if I get some of the floor done, the paint, and then I can leave it all weekend and um, you know, it'll, it'll dry up perfect by Monday because uh, I won't be here the weekend family time um so that's all good but uh yeah so so that's the kind of the plan first is, is to get the car in before um i'll get the car be able to get the car in the battery is completely dead um as you saw yesterday on the video so <clears throat> i want to sort of i've got a spare battery over there so i'll just quickly just swap it over hopefully it's got enough power juice in it to uh turn it over the engine um but yeah so i'll quickly swap that over show you that guys and then We'll bring her in. I'm oh, sorry, have a clean first, then bring her in, then we'll just, yeah, do all that sort of stuff. So, but yeah, before we get into today's video, though, guys, I just want to quickly, quickly say massive, massive, you know, thanks to everyone that was commenting yesterday. I had a massive response to it. Um, you know, loads and loads of views. I had loads of subscribers. I had loads more subscribers. So thanks to everyone that subscribed yesterday. Um, due to that that video that went out yesterday, I'm back picking up the. Um, at Co Park, really appreciate it. Really appreciate everyone's support, um, and um, and yeah, it was it was great. <clears throat> I had a couple of people um, that that just saw in the background that that green there's an old green car over there. I've spoke to the guy before. He, I don't think he's selling it, but it's it's rusting. It's it's, actually, it's just sitting there rusting. Um, but uh, well, I was speaking to that guy actually. <laughs> Something else come up. Um, he has actually got um, a towing dolly on the site up top. <clears throat> so he said, I spoke to him about it, and he said, look, have a look at it. If it's any good and you think you can use it, try it, he said, for a couple of times. Go and pick a car up or whatever, um, and then see what it's like. And if it suits my needs and I want it, he said, I can have it for £50. So that to me sounds like a really good deal if that kind of thing works for me when it comes to a, that, a towing dolly, which is basically what he's saying is that it's what the RAC use when they when you break down, they tow you behind the car or the van or lorry or whatever. <clears throat> it's a towing dolly and it's exactly what they use. Um, I don't know. I've never used it before, but then I've never used a trailer before. So I think it's worth a go. I think it's worth a shout. I think it's definitely worth having a look. So <clears throat> yeah, I'll show you that a bit later as well, guys, if I can get it, get, get the gates open. So at some point I'll be, um, yeah, I'll be showing you that as well. So yeah, let's just jump into today's video. Let's just do some bits and pieces. It is brutally, brutally hot today. It's Friday. It's going to be well over the 30s, isn't it? So um, I don't know how long I'll be sort of, you know, in this lockdown for and that kind of heat. We'll definitely find out. Um, I'll stick it out as long as possible. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, the other thing as well that obviously I had comments about yesterday was towing um, and getting a truck. Um, I said to you about I was going to sort of get rid of the van and get, get like a, um, you know, uh, a Ranger, Ford Ranger, so, some sort of truck like that. And the reason why I decided to go down that route was because those kind of trucks, they serve not just one purpose. So if you just get a recovery truck, it's just a recovery truck. But if I get like a Ford Ranger, it's it can be a towing vehicle, it can be a family vehicle as well because there's enough seats in it for, for everyone to get into. It can be a parts car, parts truck. I can go and collect bonnets, bumpers in the back. So 
yeah, guys, you know what I mean? It just, it just seems like it's an all round better vehicle to have around the shop. Um, <clears throat> as long as I can tow well with it, with a trailer or that, 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 I think that dolly will be all right towing it because it's not, there's not a weight to that. It's, it's the weight on the trailer that I'll get a few comments telling me that, you know, it got some of the guys have got trailers themselves and the, and the trailer's like a thousand kilograms or whatever it was and then plus the Fiesta. Um, and I was overweight or I couldn't pull it with the, with the wife's car. So, so yeah, it's, you know, that's reason, that, that's the main reason why I went for the Ranger or that kind of truck was because of it, 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 you can do more stuff with it. It's not just a recovery truck. So yeah, you know, recovery trucks are right, but it, it's sitting there, you know, it's sitting there doing, doing, you know, doing nothing really, unless you, using it every day, which I won't be because I'll be in here every day fixing the, the car. So, yeah, so I just wanted to clear that up, guys. But, um, you know, it, no, thanks very much for all the comments. I really appreciate everyone's support and that sort of stuff. So that was, um, yeah, it was really good to, um, to hear all that, guys. Um, so, yeah, let's, um, let's just dive into it. Let's, get, this, let's get, get the day started and let's crack on and see what we can get done. So, yeah, let's do this, guys. Right, okay guys, so I just swapped over the battery. Um, this one here. Spare one that I had kicking around. Let's see if it's got enough juice um, in this. I haven't started yet guys, so this is the first time. I've checked the oil. It's got enough oil in it. Fluids are good. So let's just have a quick check. Oh, camera. Sorry, guys. Running really well, and the fans kicking in as well, so that's good. Yeah. Hopefully, no problem with the actual engine itself. Just needs a good clean on the inside again. It's just all dusty and dirty as, as normal. Um, so, so yeah, wicked. So. Good. Let's see if she'll uh, move under her own steam. With the gears. That's a different story, that is. Yeah. She moves backs and forwards. Doesn't mean to say that it's uh. <laughs> Anything else wrong, but at least it moves backs and forwards, guys. <laughs> Wicked. I might just leave it. Oh, it's got some fuel as well, look. Just under half a tank. <laughs> What's going on with Copart lately? Seem to be uh, not emptying the fuel as they were before. So yeah, I'll just probably just leave it, get it, get it up to temperature whilst it's running and then we'll give it a good clean and then um, we'll drag her in into the new workshop yeah and uh, have a look at the front so yeah let's, I'll set you up guys and we'll uh, we'll get it cleaned up Okay, there you go. It's a little bit cleaner, little bit cleaner. Not major 
and it's not its final clean, but you know, I just want to have a quick look and see what it's like. So let's start over this side. Um, the wing looks okay. Uh, there's a slight uh, scratch on the top, I believe, but that looks okay, the wing. And then when you come across to the door, you can see, you can see those scratches there, look. So, but they're not deep. I can't, you know, get my nail on it. So they're not deep, they look like they'll buff out. They're just uh, clear coat scratches probably. Um, so yeah, they've, that's gotta be addressed, this door. Um, as we come across, Normal stuff really with these kind of doors really. Do you know like the edges where you're just shutting and closing the doors? The edges um, just a little bit chipped and a little bit scuffy there, but I think uh, a, a nice little touch up pen or some sort of um, touching up that, 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 should, that should solve that. And then as we come across to this door, again, there's all, all scratches here, but not deep. Again, they're probably clear coat scratches, so they'll buff out as well. No dents on those two doors or nothing like that. Um, handle, you know, normal handle uh, scratches where you're putting the hand, your hand through to open the door. Then bits get scratched, so they'll have to be buffed out, but that's normal. It looks like it's, it's, it's had some sort of um, like polish or something because you can sell, you can see the polish underneath there. So it looks like someone's been polishing it. Uh, it doesn't look like it at the moment. <laughs> um, so as we come over here, sorry guys, that's bright that sun, and I'm trying to get it so you can see it, but. This whole quarter is just scratched up, like bad. Especially over here, it's really, it's really so sort of scuffy, or scratchy. Up here, it's all scratchy. Again, I can't, you know, they're not deep into the paint, so they'll hopefully just buff out. And this is going to take some elbow grease to get all these scratches out. And again, as we come around to the corner of the bumper. It's all scuffy here um, and all scratched down, the front, down this bit as well and down here so they all need buffing out. Uh, the back's pretty good apart from this part here which is the bottom part of the bumper it's a little bit scratchy and scuffy but I'm, I'm hoping I can sort of just buff it up and just do a light maybe sandpaper rub on it or something and then just a little, little touch up um, so yeah Bump, that bumper needs a good looking at. I don't know whether or not it's worth respraying the whole thing. I'm not sure yet. Depends how that comes out, you know. Uh, so the passenger core back seems to be really nice. There's a couple of bits here, little scratches, but nothing major. Um, not, nothing like the other side. So this is this is all pretty good. This back core, and then uh, the back door again. There's nothing too major over here. Um, nothing that will buff out. It looks like some sort of scuff there, but that should just uh, tea cut out probably. So I'll have a go at that. Again, on the handles, a little bit scuffy there, guys. So I'll have to sort that out. And then the passenger door. Uh, there's a couple of bits here that need buffing out and scratches. So there is a few scratches around the car. Um, handle again needs to be buffed out that bit there tea cut that out or something have a little go at it um, so yeah and then the, this this wing passenger wing is uh, is fine it's got a few scratches here going across again they're light scratches in the clear coats so they'll they'll sort of buff out so a little bit of elbow grease guys I think I think we're a winner um, when it comes to the actual body part of it around a few scratches on top Again, we can get those out with a buffing. And then, obviously got to change the front end. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pull the car in uh, once it's dried. We'll pull the car in. Um, and then we'll start, yeah, start on this front end and have a work out. But there's no sort of, we've got no, um, we've got no like leaks underneath. No oil leaks. It's just, that's just the water from where I've been washing it. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. But when it comes to this, uh, this buffing, this, uh, this buffing out, this paintwork, 
Um, I've found a machine that I want to get, and it's um, it's like a uh, it's a 18 volt Makita cordless um, buffer for paint. It's like an incredible bit of kit. It's a new bit of kit they've they've come out. It's not it's not it's not um, it's something that's new on the market um, that Makita have just bought out, and I'm really considering it because it's a lot easier, when, you know, without wires and all the rest of it. Um, obviously the batteries will go, you know, will die quicker, but I think it'd be a good, yeah, a good little investment. Um, so I'm looking into getting one of those. Um, so yeah, so that's that. All right, guys, let's get this, uh, let's get this car in then. And um, let's, uh, let's, have, let's have a look at it, yeah. All right, I'll see you in a sec, guys. Right, okay, so as you saw there guys, the front end is off. Is uh, I've jacked her up. She's on axle stands. She's gonna sit here now until she's repaired. I did um, <clears throat> have a look at these, because someone was saying on the comments last night that the caps were over the nuts and then there would have been, might have been a, a locking wheel nut behind one of them, but thankfully there is no locking wheel nuts on this car, so. That's good for me. Um, so I can get off the brake pad, uh, the wheels, and have a look at these brake brake pads to see if they're um, any good. If not, I'll just put some brake pads on it. Discs are really good. Got are the only wear at at all on these discs. Uh, every tire I've checked, all of the tread on the tires, and they're all got loads of tread. So that's good. So let's just go back to the front end um, and have a look at this. Now I've had a look over it off camera just to see what it was like. The only thing I can see visibly visibly see is that this this nut is sit this this bracket sorry is sitting slightly back from the original point of the nut I believe because I can see that there's a little groove like little mark here a wear mark so I think that may have been pushed back a little bit this may have been pushed back a little bit off of that nut but I can't see any damage to the actual front, the slam panel. Um, it all looks good. Even the, the, the bottom uh, trim looks okay. There's no, there's no damage to that at all. Um, no damage to the, the actual bar or the legs. Um, that's all good. So, yeah, got, got really, really extremely lucky with this one again. Um, so, so yeah, again, like it's, it's not. There's no movement on this this bolt here. That's that's in in the correct position. Uh, none of this has been broke at the top. None, none of this is, you know, normally the, the air box gets broke. This this bracket gets smashed off the air box when it's when it gets knocked. It doesn't add any effect, even though there's a there's a little arrow here. So they're pointing to, to something. I suspect it was the because that's where the the screw goes for the headlight. So I'm sus I suspect that that's what they're pointing to that it's been broke which it was. So it's the only thing I can think of really, because, or see, notice, you know, there's a little trim here that goes like that. So it looks like it's had a knock here somewhere. Yeah, there, like that. So that sits here like that. But I'll probably just get a little bit of hot weld, um, get me soldering iron and hot weld both sides of that and there just to just to hold it in place don't seem to think that that's um uh needed <laughs> if that's broke it doesn't you know the whole piece doesn't need to be just for that just for that little corner piece so yeah i'll do a repair job on that guys but the actual legs and the actual the actual um crush bar look, looks absolutely fine absolutely no problem with that at all not been hit at all so so yeah yeah that's where we are with it um I've, I'll quickly show you, because I've been obviously ordering parts already. This is the new bumper for this Fiesta. Um, obviously this is, you know, the old one, 
with the old old grill. The old grill smashed, so I can't use that, that old grill, so I've got another one coming, new one. Um, and that's that's our bumper. So I'll just take undo it, have a look at it. Hopefully it's primed um, with a bit of primer. If not, I'll rub it down with a bit of sandpaper and I'll 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 prime it um, and then take it down to the paint shop and they can do their do their bit with it again like, like the other fiesta. Um, It'll probably again. I'll just I'll get him to do it. Hopefully, he'll do it again for the same price, which was eighty quid. And um, yeah, happy days. Um, I'm going to try and have a look at this bonnet. I've, I've been I've been having a look at this bonnet, and I'm not sure about it, guys. I really ain't sure. I think I'll be able to repair it. I think I'd be able, there's like obviously there's this stuff here, and there's like a crease here. So you know, I don't want it to look crap. I don't want it to look rubbish. I want it to look really really good so if i can't i'll have a go at it i will have a go if i can't get it looking um like new then you know it's, I'm, I'm gonna change it or whatever there's a little crease here as well might have to knock that down i don't know i'll have a go it's worth having a try isn't it it's worth it so i've got it here nothing to lose um i'll try and repair it um and i'll show you me doing that and hopefully that works out if not it's a new bonnet. It's not the end of the world. It's just, uh, you know, I like to try different things and I, I, like, if I can try and fix it and, and work out with what I've got, then then that's what I'll do. So, so yeah, guys, that's where we are. Um, you can't really see any scratches in here because it's inside. Outside looks really bad, but the actual, like, the actual color, it's nice. It's a nice black, this black. It's panther black. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's, it's, it's brighter in here than I thought as well. Like it looks, you know, it looks really bright in here. Um, got loads of space around the car. Uh, I want to chuck another one in here if I can. Um, I have, I might have one, another car to pick up <coughs> um, Monday, but it's not from Copart. It's not a crash repair car. It's a little project car that someone's offered me, um, really cheap, and. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys know what that is on Monday. That'll be obviously part of Monday's video. Uh, it's a little cheap car. Uh, I'll tell you what it's gonna cost me, first of all, and then on Monday I'll tell you what it is. So they've said that I can have it for 200 quid. So it's cheap. Um, so I'll let you know what it is and the reg and the rest of it on Monday. But for now, I thought I'll just tell you what it costs. So they've, they've said to me I can have it for 200 quid. It does need some work. And that's the whole idea, is that me grabbing these sort of little cars like that um, when I can. Um, and then it's just another little project for me to work in here and to show you guys on the channel what I'm doing. Um, it's just another little car, another little thing to do, yeah. So, so there we go for now, guys. Um, I'll come back to you in a little while and let you know about the bumper. So, see you soon. All right, okay, so... I've unwrapped the bumper over there, as you can see the wrapper. Um, yeah, it's primed, so it's pretty decent. It does need a, still need a sand. I'll do a light sand around it, get that um, sort of all sanded over. Um, what I'll do is I'll take the bumper outside, I'll set you up on the time lapse, and then um, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So basically, um, I'm gonna sand it all down, wipe it all over, um, and then I'm gonna hit it with a black paint so that it's got like a, just a one coat. And then when I take it to the paint shop, he can then just do his do his business with um, a, a top coat and the um, lacquer. So so yeah, I'll, I'll sit you up outside guys, show you what I'm doing. And then um, yeah, we'll go from there. Right, okay guys, Whew. it is hot. It is really, really hot today, I'm sweating in here. Unbelievable, but 
you know, just keep cracking on. Um, so yeah, guys, as you saw, I just sort of uh, PVA'd and sealed um, the floor, ready for the painting. I'm not gonna do the painting yet because it's still not dry. Unbelievably or not, it's not dry in this weather. I can't believe it, but it's not. So I'll have to leave that. I'll probably do that Monday now. Um, but um, yeah, so I'll probably do that Monday the floor. I'll just give you a quick update of what's happened. I've took the seats out. Look guys, as you see, yeah. You know I love taking the seats out to give it all a clean. I've done it all on, on, on all most of the other cars I've done. I just love taking them out, getting the carpet clean, getting that carpet clean, that, that Putsy 100, you know, and just give it a good scrub up, really give, really give the interior a good clean, ready for the next owner. So that's what I like doing. So I've done that. Um, I've taken off the hinges on these, this as well, on both sides. They're just, it, what it was, is the actual bonnet was like pushed towards the driver's side like that way it was pushed over so there's obviously a, definitely a problem with the hinges um so i took i took them off and um i had a spare set of hinges for this free type of fiesta i had a spare set so i took the stoves down to the paint shop along with the bumper that you see me do so he's going to crack on with that and he said he'll have the bumper done painted ready to be picked up monday at 3 p.m along with the hinges so that is quick no, quick turnaround and he's only charging me like 80 quid to, 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 to paint that to paint the, bump, the bumper but you, you did see that I, I try to you know I always try to hit hit the bumpers with with a color or you know panels with a color that so that it gives me two two reasons why I do it the first reason it gives me a little bit of experience when it comes to painting and the flow and the rest of it and you know more experience on something the better it is um so that's that and the other thing as well um it's cheaper if i hit it with a base like a normal base coat like a, 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 a primer and a base coat is cheaper than it was just to give him the bumper and let him do it himself so if i can save 40 quid 50 quid um and and, and getting a because he would have charged me about 150 for that probably um and if i can say and he's gonna so he's charged me 80 quid so I've, I've saved that money just because i've got a can of spray which is panther black which matches the color i've got a can for six quid and then hit it myself which took me under an hour so it's those kind of little details and those little 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 things that will save uh, the money in the long run um you know and like you know i've always i've started to learn um learn a lot more about sort of trying to uh not bodge anything because i don't ever want to try and budget i always try and do things over the top as you know i've taken the seat over the, over, not a lot not most people will take the seats out to clean um underneath the seats that you know and there's not a lot of people that would have done that so i always try to do those kind of things so you know i'm not a bodger um but I am going to try and sort of um, cut cut and save money where I can. So, yeah, I, thought, I just thought I'd explain that to you guys. <laughs> so, the other thing as well I want to quickly share with you. Um, so, we've got these headlights and obviously the tabs are broken. Um, you can see that one there is broken. Uh, that one it goes, actually goes there. It's broken. Um, and that one's broken as well. But I've bought um, some repair tab repair kits for these lights. So again, it's just um, it's just an, an, a, a, I've got to try and sort of cut the cost where I can. So so yeah, so I'll do a, I'll do a video on that when that when they turn up. You know, again, if you I went and bought the, the, the repair 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 tab kits and they're like fifteen quid off eBay, where it's like the lights are like you know 80 to 100 pound each so again the savings are there and you've got to try and and fix things where you can and it's kind of it's kind of this kind of job and it's kind of work um so so yeah i just thought i'd explain that one guys to you as well this one's gonna be pretty quick to be fair i'm gonna be looking at another um i'm gonna be looking at another one next week because this is gonna be like hopefully ready 
and, and gone within the next two weeks. This one, this, this will be out, this will be gone. And that's how quick we need to turn them around. We need to get them done within a week and then leave it a week and sell it out the door, next one. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna be looking at another one that I told you about earlier, which is a lot of Fiat Punto. Um, and I did say that I'll, like, I'll hold off and wait until, until Monday, but I thought I'd give, you a sh I'll give it a shout out now. It's a Fiat Punto. Um, and he wants 200 quid for it, and it's a 57 plate. So I'm gonna try and, and you know, it does need a bit of work, but I'm gonna try and do the work and still double my money when I, when I sell it. So that's gonna be another little project for us to get into. It's not a salvage, um, it's not got a title on it, so it's not got a, a damaged title at all on it, so that'd be pretty cool, but I'm gonna probably pick up another one, hopefully pick up another one from Copart next week um, to, uh, to move on and go forward, guys, yeah. So that is gonna be it for today's video. Um, got quite a bit done today, bits and pieces. So, you know, I've started getting the tools in, started getting bits and pieces. I still wanna get um, the racking done. I still wanna get some sort of a bench fitted out. So I'll do those kind of bits and pieces in between doing the car still, as you know, probably have to be do it like that. Um, yeah, so listen guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time um, to, to view the content today. Really appreciate everyone's support. Don't forget to drop me a comment. If you've got any, um, you know, anything you want to uh, tell me or chat to me about, that'd be great, fantastic. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, listen guys, thanks very much, and I'll see you on the next one.